What is up, you lovely lot? It's coin hunting time. We've got £500 in sealed bags, two pound coins from the bank. 4th of April on the bag, so a fairly recent one. Let's get it open and hope for some good luck today. Let's do it. We're going to get straight into it. Of course, we're looking for a nice mix of all the different commemorative picture two pound coins. We've completed this collection twice now and we will be starting a new book very, very soon. But for now, we're just going to hunt and see what we can find. With no book to fill, let's hope for some Commonwealth Games, some Olympics. There's a Brunel's Achievement, our first find of the day. That's a pretty common one though, from 2006. So up the top it goes. As per usual, when we find a coin, the mintage figure will appear in the bottom left. There's the World War I Army Centenary, another common one. So yeah, mintage figure and what the coin is will appear in the bottom left. And then if it's worth more than two quid, that'll appear up in the top right. Hopefully that happens a few times today. <laughs> Let's see what we can find. Nothing in that bag. We will, of course, check the normal looking coins, the technologies afterwards for anything we might have missed, any errors, DDO errors, any rotation errors, or anything else we might have missed when we're quickly flicking through. There's another commemorative, 2007's Act of Union, 300 years of the union between England and Scotland. Got to check this one for a die rotation. Make sure when you've got two up in this corner, Flip it over and the queen is lined up nicely. If she's not, you've got yourself a die rotation error. They are known to exist on that coin, but they're pretty scarce. I've yet to, yet to find one myself. There we go. There's another World War I Army Centenary. Nice, shiny condition, but unfortunately minted in huge numbers. Here's another Act of Union. Again, we'll do that die rotation check. That one is okay. Oh, there's a half decent one. It's a keeper, just above face value. Not worth a fortune. As I said, frequent eBay sales, average prices will appear in the top right. That one is in pretty shoddy condition as well. I'd say that's seen some water damage. We'll put it on the keeper's row. I probably won't keep it, but we always do that. No matter the condition, we'll put the price in the top right corner for an average kind of circulated one that you can pick up on eBay. Right, what's this? This is something. Oh, Shakespeare's Tragedies. One of the three different Shakespeare coins. We're still looking for that very elusive edge inscription error. Of course, it should say, what a piece of work is a man. If it says for king and country, that's the one we're looking for. No, that's correct. What a piece of work is a man. So not the error, but still a nice find. Still changing hands for a bit more than face value on eBay, and a great design as well. Pop that down the bottom. Couple of low tier keepers so far, nothing to shout about. Hopefully that will change. We've been doing really well on coin hunts recently. Our luck has been pretty immense, though it has been a few hunts since we've seen a Commonwealth Games two pound coin. That'd be nice today. There's the other Brunel coin, Brunel's portrait this time. Both Brunels came out in 2006. And both really, really common. Let's keep on rolling. Ooh. Another act of union, popular today. Nothing else there. What else would be lovely to find? A territory, you don't see many territory two pound coins popping out. It does happen now and again, they're always great to find. There's the gunpowder plot, 400 year anniversary. Again though, that's a fairly common one. And speaking of common ones, a Rugby World Cup. The first commemorative biometallic two pound coin in 1999, but it's pretty common. So on the top row you go. Nothing else there. Plenty of bags still to go though. So hopefully we will find something worth shouting about. 
Commonwealth Games, Northern Ireland, of course, the rarest circulating mainland two pound coin. Worth about 35, 40 quid last time I looked. So, of course, would be absolutely brilliant to find one of those. Come on. There's a different one. We haven't seen that yet today. It's Charles Dickens. So again, it's a pretty common one. We keep on going. Nothing there. There's another Charles Dickens. If you are new to this coin hunting game, then I do have videos on the channels outlining prices on all of the commemorative coins in the UK. So do check them out if you want to learn what to keep an eye out for. And I'd say they are realistic prices. I try and be fair and go with the average on eBay. There's the most common commemorative two pound coin. First one we've seen today though, the VE Day 60 year anniversary. And there's another. <laughs> Proving how common they are, I guess. Now, I did just check that 2015 technologies for a die rotation. They're the ones you're more likely to find them with because they're nice and shiny. It means they've been through less hands. Less people have checked them for the errors. And they were popping up pretty regularly about a year or so ago. We couldn't go two or three hunts. Oh, there we go. Nice. Couldn't go two or three hunts without finding one. And again, it's the flag error. Wow, we're getting so lucky with these flag errors recently. It took us so long to find one. And now we've found two in the last couple of hunts. If you don't know what I'm talking about, there is a die chip on the die that struck this coin, which coincidentally makes it look like a little flag on the top of the mast. That's not supposed to be there. And this error, you'll see in the top right, is worth a little bit more than the, the bog standard coin, which is worth a little bit on its own anyway. So a great, great find, Navy Centenary, full flag error. Cannot go wrong with that. Wow. Yeah, it took me so long to find one of those initially that I actually bought one from the coin store. I used to have a local coin store and every week I'd do a coin store haul video. And in one of those, I bought one of those full flag errors. The next two pound coin hunt I done, I found one, didn't I? <laughs> so that was typical. There we go, there's Brunel's portrait again. And there's Marconi's wireless transmissions. If you don't remember that, it was a long time ago. Obviously we've been doing the channel for over three years now. So yeah, that was maybe two years ago or something. Ooh, what have we got here? 2015. Oh, what a bag this is looking like. This should be a Britannia, right? 2015, Britannia, nice. Just 650,000 minted. A great, great find. Of course, they were minted in 2016 as well. They're not quite as scarce, so that is brilliant. And then following it up behind is a great condition. Navy Centenary, and you can see this one doesn't have the flag error. This one was struck without that damage on the die. You can see the two next to each other there, the flag error on the left and the normal one on the right. What a couple of finds. Wow, <laughs> let's keep going. We weren't finding much at the beginning, but three coins with a mintage of 650,000. You cannot complain, especially when one of them has an error as well. Of course, the Navy Centenary, worth a bit more than the 2015 Britannia, despite having exactly the same mintage figure. 650,000. Oh, and another nice find. We are hotting up. That is the Navy, Navy, got navies on the brain. That is the London Underground tube train. And again, it's in stunning condition, especially considering this coin is now 10 years old, right? This is a 2013 release. Stunning, stunning stuff. Love that. <laughs> Down there you go. Of course, that's part of a two coin set. You've got the round all, which is the London Underground sign or symbol or logo as well. Here we have the act for the abolition of the slave trade. 
200 year anniversary from 2007. And again, that's a pretty common one. We have five more here. Let's get into the last 100 pounds. And hopefully this luck continues. There's another Brunel's portrait. Up there you go. Nothing else in that bag. A sporting coin would be nice. That would top this hunt off. A Commonwealth or an Olympic would be absolutely brilliant. There's a shiny 2015. One's correctly aligned. As I said, I will check all of the two pounds again afterwards at a more leisurely pace. Um, but yeah, if you want to know about the normal coins worth money, I've got a video on that as well. I'll put a link at the end. There's Trevific's steam locomotive. Again, that's a fairly common one. So up the top you go. Last couple of bags then. And any more luck in these two, I reckon there could be. I think I spotted something, but I'm not 100% sure. This is something, it says two pounds on the obverse here. Ah, it's Lord Kitchener. The one coin where you don't want it to say two pounds on the obverse. If you've got a Lord Kitchener that doesn't say two pounds on this side, it's worth a pretty penny, that's for sure. I saw one going for auction. Oh, <laughs> before we get into that, I saw one of the Era Kitcheners going for auction on Facebook recently. Went up to 700 pound, which didn't reach the reserve, so didn't actually sell in the end, but yeah, very interesting to watch. 2015's Magna Carta is another great, great find. Good stuff. We have been blessed today. What a bag. Right, last bag. Any last bag luck? We cannot be greedy because we've done absolutely brilliantly. Another Brunel's portrait. Most numerous coin of the day. Four of those today. Last three coins. Nothing there, but what a hunt. Smash the thumbs up for that one. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Check out this video here for the values on all of the two pound coins. And check out this video up here for the values of the normal looking two pound coins.